the other side, the Alliance Defending Freedoms, the American Family Association, the Liberty Council people are suing the state of Michigan so that adoption agencies can discriminate against whoever they want in the name of religion. Um, but I came through that system in Michigan. So this is personal for me. This is about more than if I want to adopt children in the future, which I do. It's not about that. It's about my family as it currently exists, my parents. These people would see to it that my family could have never existed, all in the name of their religion. These people would see that I would never have had the opportunities that I had in order to enforce some backward, dogmatic, hateful bigotry against people using our tax dollars. And to that, I have every right to say, fuck that. We have every right to be angry, to be upset, and to be forceful when religion is attacking our rights, our families, and our loved ones. But we need, and we need to tell that story. We should own that, that, that anger. I am angry about that. I am angry at being told that my family is less worthy than the families of bigoted Christians that kick their kids out when they come out as gay, or when they come out as trans, or when they come out as atheists, or when they decide, you know what, actually I'm gonna be a Methodist instead of a Southern Baptist. Get out of this house. I'm sorry, those people do not have any, any claim to morality or to values. And we need to push back on that with everything we have. It's not enough for us just to say that religion is bad. We need to show how it is. It's not enough for us to just say that religion is wrong. We need to show how it's harming people. We can debate and we should debate, we can educate and we need to educate, but at the end of the day, the human connection is what matters. My connection to all of you and the connection that voters and legislators can have to us. That's what will change minds. That's what will move the needle toward equality.